Welcome to this Giftworks video. My name is Steve Faithful, and this is the third of an eight-part video series talking about how easy it is to import information into Giftworks. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the different kinds of files that you can import um, into Giftworks using our built-in tools. The three kinds of files that you can import into Giftworks are files that are Microsoft Excel, files that are text files, or files that are an Access Database. That is an MDB file, a Microsoft Access Database. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down each one of those, pointing out some things that you may want to keep in mind, or things that you want to consider when importing one of those three file types. Now keep in mind, if you don't have one of those three file types, uh, the hope is that you, whatever format your file is in, maybe a file maker, or maybe a, a different kind of system, that the hope is that you can get your information into one of those. Perhaps you can export it out of one of those, to, uh, one of those other systems or other uh, file types and import uh, and export it into an Excel file or a text file or an Access database. Um, if you need help doing that, you can feel free to contact us at support at missionresearch.com and we can point you uh, in the right direction or give you some ideas on how to get it in for, into one of those formats. So I'm going to be breaking down each one of those types and I'm going to start with Microsoft Excel. And to show you that, I'm going to sign into Giftworks here. I'm going to go to the settings area of Giftworks and I'm going to go to database and maintenance, import and export data, and then import a file. And if I click on this drop down, it's going to show you the three different types of files, the first one being Excel. Now to uh, import an Excel file, I'm going to first go over to an Excel file, and I'll bring it up right now on the screen. You can see this is an Excel file. Uh, I'm using uh, Excel version 2003. If you are using a, a later version, perhaps Excel 2007, your Excel file may not end with a .xls extension. If it ends with something else, uh, a different extension for Excel, you can go ahead into Excel and save the file as a previous version of Excel. Your Excel file must, must end in XLS for now. Um, pre, uh, subsequent versions, maybe future versions of Giftworks may be able to handle different kinds of files, but for now we handle um, Excel files that, are, uh, that end with a .xls. A couple things I want to point out about Excel files. Um, Excel files uh, are good in that they can, um, it allows you to lay out your information however you want, uh, but there could be some things that can cause problems or can cause challenges when importing it into Giftworks. A few of the things I want to point out are first, you'll notice that I'm using this first row of my Excel spreadsheet as the column name or the field name for my information. If I scroll over, you'll notice that one of the things I've done is I'm storing, this is a basic Excel spreadsheet that contains three donors. Certainly your Excel spreadsheet may contain many more, but mine contains three donors. It has basic donor information, the donor's address information, and then I, I come to some donation information. In this case, I have two donations, a donation um, date, uh, and in this case, let me format this appropriately. So it has um, a donation date and a donation amount, and then I have a second donation and a second amount. I'm going to format this as money as well. So you'll see I have donation, uh, a, a first donation and then a second donation, both with a date and amount. Well, one of the things you'll notice at the top is both these columns are named donation date. And, uh, and that would cause a problem when importing into Giftworks. So first thing is to check to ensure that your column names are all unique. So I'm going to just add a 1 and add a 2 to this. So I've now, instead of having two columns with the same name, I've, uh, I've made sure I name them uniquely. The second thing I want to keep an eye out for is formatting. Sometimes if I, let's just pretend, I'm going to add an email address column, and if I put in steve at missionresearch.com, if I can spell, .com, you'll notice that Excel goes ahead and formats this, which can, some, which can sometimes cause issues when importing it into, um, into Giftworks. So one of the things I can do, you'll also notice that my top row is bolded. Perhaps sometimes some people may use different colors or different things that can format. And sometimes when importing into Giftworks, it can be, a, it can, um, it can be challenging uh, to Giftworks to try to import some of that because some of the information, some information can exist that's, uh, that's not visible to us, but that can cause challenges. And so sometimes we'll encourage people, if they're having any issues importing their, their Excel file, to go ahead and click on the kind of specially formatted fields. In this case, it's, I have a bolt, I've bolded all my column names. I can click on the edit menu, and this may differ depending on what version of Excel you're using, but you should be able to find a clear option, and then I'm just going to clear the formats. And you'll notice that it just takes off the bold formatting. I can also do the same thing for my email column. So I can say edit, clear, formats. And then I'll go ahead and remove some of that, some of that formatting to reduce any likelihood or, or opportunity there to be a problem when importing this into Giftworks. So once I've 
taking care of any formatting, uh, taking care of um, uh, any duplicate column names, I can then go ahead and, and uh, save this and then be ready to import it in. So I'm going to go back to Giftworks now. And one of the things I can do is I'm going to just select that it's an Excel file. And then I'm going to click on Find Import File, which I'm going to go ahead and select this import.xls, which is the file that we were just looking at. Once I do that, I'm going to click on Next. And I can now have an opportunity to preview this information within Giftworks. It just is showing me that I'm looking at the right data. Down at the bottom, you'll notice there's some Excel-specific questions. First of all, does the first row of this file contain column names? Well, if you remember, uh, the first column, the first row did. Um, if yours doesn't, uh, which most of, you's, most of yours probably will, but for some reason if yours doesn't, Giftworks will go ahead and just assign a, a column name to it. But the assumption is your first row does contain column names. And then the second thing is to choose which sheet your information is contained on. So sheet 2 and sheet 3 of my Excel file were blank. So I go ahead and I'm just going to choose sheet 1. I could go ahead and next. I could go ahead and click next to continue my import process. But I'm going to now stop and go ahead and talk about text files for a moment, which are very similar to Excel files. I'm going to click on back and let me, op let me quickly open up a text file to look at. Now you'll see that I'm looking, I'm going to open up a text file. This text file uh, contains some bit very basic information as well, but the first row of my text file. Now this is a TXT file. Yours might be a CSV file. Um, and uh, whether it's one of those, that's, that's considered a text file. My top row contains my column names, and the remaining information is the information that uh, I want to import, my donor and donation information. So if I go back to Giftworks, I'm going to choose, instead of an Excel file, I'm going to choose a text, which it supports both CSV, a .CSV, or a .txt file. I'm going to click on Find Import File. I'm going to choose Import.txt. I'm going to click on Next, and you'll see that it does the same thing. It's going to provide me a listing. But one of the things you're going to need to, need to choose for a text file is what is the separator or the delimiter that separates the different fields. I know mine is a comma. Yours might be a tab um, or other, some other character, which you can choose down here. Once again, it's going to ask you the same question as Excel. What that is, is it just um, does the first row contain column information? So once I choose these two options, which are specific to a text file, I can verify that this information is correct, and I can click the Next button again. The last thing I'm going to review is an Access Database. Um, in an Access Database, there's a number of other things to consider. But let me go ahead and open up an Access Database. Hold on one moment. So in this case, let me open up my Access Database. You'll see I'm using Access. Uh, I'm using Access 2000, well, Access 2003 once again. This is um, is an Access Database. Keep in mind that if you're using Access 2007, you can, you're going to need to make sure that you save your Access um, Database, which, I, which uh, your an Access 2007 database will end with a .accdb extension. You're going to want to make sure that it ends with a .mdb extension. And once you do that, I'm looking at this Excel, uh, this Access Database. I have three tables in here. The first table contains basic donor information, which is, resembles the text file and the Excel files that I showed you earlier. You'll notice that many of you probably, if you're using access, an Access Database, you'll see that you have an ID column that probably is a unique identifier for each of the donors. You have donor information. And then you may have a donation uh, table. Donation table probably contains a unique ID for the donation, then a, a reference ID for the donor, and then simple donation information, the date and the amount. And so in this, you may also have queries, uh, some queries about um, just putting information together. Uh, some people ask us how they should format their Access Database to be able to import it properly. Well, in a moment, I'm going to show you the, how you can import it into Giftworks, but, or how you can set it up to import into Giftworks. But some of the things we'll recommend is, if you do have both a donor and a donation table that contains information, you can create a simple query, like I did here, that contains both the name and then the date and the amount of each of the donations. And uh, this format is, prop is acceptable. You could, uh, especially if you have Giftworks 2010, you can import it into Giftworks. You don't have to put it into all your information into a single query. Um, you could import just the donors first and then subsequently import the donations. And we'll show you that in a later video. So um, assuming that your Access Database resembles this somewhat, you can go back to Giftworks. Go back to Giftworks. You can choose an Access Database instead click on Find Import File, click on Import.mdb, click, um, and that's the file I was just showing you. Click on Next. Once you do that, uh, the options down below are going to change slightly. You're going to choose from both 
tables and queries at the bottom and you're going to choose which table or query you want to import from. And so in this case, I'll just choose the combined, um, the, uh, the query that I created that combines both the donors and the donations. And once you choose that, you can go ahead and click the Next button. Now, for all these three file types, whether it's Excel or Access or a text file, once I click the Next button, uh, the process of importing will be identical, will be exactly the same, regardless of what kind of file you've chosen. So whether you're listening to this video and you have one or the other, um, any one of those formats that we've talked about, the rest of the remaining process, the remaining import process will be exactly the same. And so keep that in mind as we continue on with the next videos. In the next video, we're going to be talking about choosing some options uh, around your import. And so, uh, so be sure to watch that one, and thank you for watching this video.